Being a streamer on Twitch is something almost every gamer wants to do, but unfortunately, it has gotten tougher and tougher in recent years due to more streamers getting in the game. As you can see on this graph, the ratio of streamers to viewers are lower than ever. It's probably going to keep on getting lower in the next few years. Even though Twitch is growing at a rapid pace, the amount of streamers are growing even faster. This means more competition, especially if you're just starting out. Making Twitch a full-time job is hard, with only 1% of streamers being a Twitch affiliate. Only 17,000 out of 2.2 million are partnered. But is it too late right now? No, it's never too late. Just look at Aiden Ross or Tens for example. But it certainly is hard if you don't have a plan. If you just stream a game and you're the average Joe, why should somebody watch you instead of millions of other streamers? But you don't have to be a Twitch affiliate to make money. From sponsorships to outside revenue, about 10% of streamers can still make it somewhat big. One thing that could certainly help is to start growing on an easier platform like YouTube. YouTube. Post something that has value, not just your own gameplay. This will attract more viewers on YouTube. Mention your Twitch in every video as well. YouTube has multiple ways to get discovered from search, suggested, and the homepage. You could do a video on a tutorial on a particular match on a review of a game. It's easier to branch out on YouTube and then hook them up on your Twitch. On Twitch, it's really hard to do that. The main way to get discovered is either via search or suggested, and both are very competitive. If you were put in a situation where you're casually browsing a game, what are the chances of you popping up as suggested? No. What are the chances of you popping up under a game? None, because you're averaging less than 100 viewers probably. You don't have to just go on YouTube. TikTok is definitely the easiest platform to get new viewers from as well. My next tip is to have something that the viewers should watch you for on Twitch. If you're a good player or a funny player, it would make it way easier to grow. If you have a thousand dollar webcam but you don't have something to wow the audience, what's the point? Growing on Twitch also depends on which game you stream. If you start playing a small game, you're probably gonna get more viewers because it's easier to find you. Nobody's gonna scroll down 30 pages of Warzone streamers just to find you. So in conclusion, starting now is way better than starting later, but it's just gonna get more and more competitive from here on out. You still have a high chance of growing if you start uploading content on multiple social medias, especially YouTube and TikTok. Or if you're really good at the game or have a funny personality, that could also lead you to success easily. Because there are, you have people like, I mean, just look at every, just look at every pro player, look at every streamer, look at, they're just so saturated. It's so saturated right now, it's so saturated. Every main game inevitably becomes super saturated. And the only way you're gonna blow up on those games is if you start to compete I'm gonna give you some examples of players who have literally blown up after Fortnite kind of fell off viewership wise to where it was at its peak. You got Clicks, who's dominating right now, Booga, both competitive, Benji, Mongrel. Mongrel kind of was in there early too though. But, but unless you're unless you're gonna unless you're gonna start competing and you're so effing good that a top player who already is streaming at a high level with high viewers picks you up example me in reverse uh example tifu and scoped 